Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. What you are seeing here in front of the door <laughs> and to the side. Um, we've had, I mean, there's some still a little bit of snow there, but uh, a lot of snow has melted and we've had a lot of rain over the last couple days. So it's uh, very, very wet. It's actually stopped raining for the moment. Today is Saturday, March 25th. As you can see, it's very overcast. And like I said, we've had a ton of rain today. Um, and it's been, like I said, it's been uh, very wet. A lot of the snow is gone. Uh, there's a few small piles left where it was piled up. But uh, as you can see, a lot of that snow is out of there now. Uh, the forecast, they're calling for rain, uh, I believe, for three more days. So it's going to be interesting, but yeah, it's um, what I'm going to end up doing here. As you can see, we got because what will happen, I mean, this will all dissipate pretty quickly, but I don't like all the water around here. So, what I'm going to probably end up doing is uh, I'll uh, like I said, you can see it's all water there. Um, I'll put more stone over the top of that this year at some point just to bring it up higher. Because when it rains like that, it's just, it sucks. I mean, you know, <laughs> getting in and out, you're like doing the, the big goose step. So, um, anyway, so that's what's going on there. So it's really haven't done a lot, um, not a lot happening. Just because the weather has been very uncooperative and you can't actually get out and do anything. I'm glad to see the snow all going. Don't get me wrong, I love that part of it. And the weather is going to start warming up um, according to what they're saying. It's a little chilly now. I think it's in its in the 40s, but uh, you know we're uh, like I said, just doing low key. Uh, the kids are at mom's for the weekend. They got picked up yesterday, and I'll pick them up tomorrow. So um, and just so I just give you guys uh, letting you know, I was debating whether to say anything or not because it really doesn't make any difference one way or the other. But I did get a job again, so. Um, I have been working, so I've been trying to work again, try to continue to get things done around here, and uh, like I said, the weather hasn't really cooperated, so um, like if it had been a decent weekend, I would have gotten a lot done. I would have been out here cutting up more wood and getting wood squared away, but because the spring is the time to do it. Um, there's, I'm going to take you around here a little bit. Over here, there's a lot of... Uh, this is one of the apple trees that I planted here too last year. Just showing you that. But we got a lot of uh, a lot of wood here. I can cut all this up and get this going. And there's a lot of more water. Look at all that water there, and that'll all dissipate as well. But uh, yeah, it's um. But like all this stuff, I can get all this cleaned up, and I want to do it before it gets too hot. Number one, before all the uh, you know, uh, so you can see the water is coming right down through here. That's why it's filling up this area. Uh, I want to get that done before all the crap and stuff starts growing up here again. I mean, there's trees down here that we had taken down. Um, when we were bringing the, the tank in here, we had to take down one of the maples. So that's there. So that's partly cut up. But there's all kinds of scrap and, and crap around that's got to get cut up. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's like right now everything is really, really wet. But, like, all this stuff can get cleaned up. I want to get this all cleaned up, squared away, because I can utilize all in through here. And even if you look over, you know, I had cleaned up. I was working in that area over here last year. Uh, cutting up some of that wood, but we took down another pine over here that you see laying there When we put in this driveway and stuff and that all got pushed up in there So there's like a there's a ton of wood that has to be uh, Scored away. It's gonna like I said, it's gonna take some time and like I said, we just have had a, a Tremendous amount of rain here. There's a lot of standing water at the moment, but like I said, it, it sucks in pretty quick Which is not a bad thing and uh, so, eh, what are you going to do? I mean, it's all part of the process, but I'm, like I said, I'm glad to see the, 
the snow going. That's uh, that's a good thing. So one of the things I wanted to talk about today, uh, we just had another terrorist attack over in London, and uh, you know it's uh, I I just I don't understand the mindset of people that if you don't believe the same way that I believe that I'm going to kill you. I don't understand that. It makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, people are insane. I mean, uh, you know, people are absolutely insane. I mean, what, whatever happened to believe what you want to believe and, and live in peace, and I'll believe what I want to believe and live in peace, and we can all get along and uh, we can agree to disagree. But unfortunately, for whatever uh, reason... And I'm not just going to put it on Muslims, okay? I, it's not... I mean, that's what a lot of these terrorist attacks have been coming from. But, uh, you know, you, you got to understand, too, it's like, you know, uh, the British, us, uh, different countries around the world, uh, we've gone into these countries and we're pushing our weight around, trying to push our will on these people. And so you wonder why they hate us, you know? Uh, but it's, I still, you know, like I said, I just, I don't know, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy that people would just kill innocent people for no reason whatsoever. It doesn't make any sense what to me whatsoever. But it's a crazy freaking world, and unfortunately, until some things change, um, you know, and it could be an agenda, too. I mean, you don't know. I mean, it's a, it's a way to give up your, your freedoms for control and, and safety, you know. I mean, you look what happened... Uh, back when, um, you know, like when, well, great examples, 9-11, you know, everybody got together and did the rah-rah cheer and we're going to go kick some butt, you know, and, uh, it's turned into 15 years later, we're still fighting these freaking people, which is just insane. I mean, you know, but see, the thing is we have to remember, we've got to remember what is war all about, Okay. Is war really about nowadays? Not back, like, we're not talking World War One or World War II. Uh, let's talk, you know, let's talk Korea. Let's talk Vietnam. Let's talk uh, the, the whole Gulf War thing, you know, um, Iraq and, you know, and um, Afghanistan and stuff like that. Let's talk about those. Do we want to win those wars? Well, of course not, because... If the war is over, then biz big business is not continuing to make money. So why would you ever want the war to be over? You want to have that continue on and on and on. Big business is making a pant load of money. And who cares if small town Joe gets killed? Big business don't care because their sons aren't going off to fight these wars. It's our hometown, small small towns. Um, you know, we just had a girl um, in a local town here just was killed. And, uh, you know... She was 26, had two little kids, was married, and, uh, you know, now she's dead. For what? I just, you know, and I, I don't think it was a combat-related death. I think, I don't know exactly what the whole thing was, but she was over, it was her second tour, and she was a bomb loader. So I don't know exactly what happened, but unfortunately she was killed, and, you know, so now we have another person locally that's been killed uh we had uh, a girl that was killed a couple of years back you know in the area you know and uh, and, it, and it happens all the time it, and these people that are being killed from our country or from small towns or for or for like from cities like chicago and in new york city and you know all these areas the small depressed areas where you know they don't have a whole lot of options so they join the military because they're, you know, they're either getting money for college or it's like, you know, an option for them to do. And, you know, and unfortunately, a lot of young people in the prime of their life, the start of their life, or not even the prime, but the start of their life, they're being killed. And it's for what? You know, for oil? I just, I look at it like this. If Iraq wants to implode upon itself, let them do it. Because who cares? I mean, I understand it's oil. It's all about oil, Iraq. Iraq was all about oil. You know, but it's again, it's it, we push our will upon everybody else and and, you know, and say, well, this is the best way and this is what you should do. Well, people don't want to live that way. I say let them live whatever way they want as long as they leave us alone, you know, but we need to leave them alone, too. So, I mean, 
you know, the, but these senseless attacks of killing innocent people just to cause fear and terror, it's horrible. I mean, it's a horrible thing. I just, I just, I don't understand the mindset of people. I really, truly don't. That's why I live up in the hills, peace and quiet. I mean, it's, you know, that's what I love. I mean, it's just, it, it's unfortunate, it's sad. My heart goes out to the people that lost their lives for senselessness. And uh, it just continues to happen. And unfortunately, it's not going to change. But uh, now, I don't know if anybody's curious or not, but like with the solar, um, on a rainy day like today, I still do get some solar in, very little. Because number one, it's overcast and cloudy. And then when it's raining, it's just not good at all. So... Uh, hey. How you doing? One of my neighbors going by. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. What are you going to do? You know, so it's uh, rainy days. We don't get a whole lot of solar. So again, another reason why I'm going to increase my, my solar panels and, uh, and eventually build up my battery bank. And, you know, it just, it's just, it's a process another process but anyway guys listen i just wanted to touch base with you a little real quick here oh i, I do want to say too thank you very much for all the comments from the video from the other day um about my son and you know and sharing my thoughts with a child with autism i truly appreciate that uh it does mean a lot to me it really truly does it's uh you know it's it's a hard road i i, I kind of want and i'm not doing it for pity and i will never do anything for pity uh, but I just wanted to, to kind of explain to let people see what it's like and, and have other people that are in the same situation know that they're not alone. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of autism out there now. So unfortunately, there's a lot of people having to deal with it. And it's not, a, it's not an easy thing to do. It really isn't. But oh, now my butt's ringing. So anyway, guys, let me, it's, it's my buddy Reese calling me. So hold on one second. Reese, hold on one second. Um, so anyway, guys, listen, I'm going to jump off of here, and I will talk to you later. I hope everybody is doing well, having a good weekend. Um, remember, hug and kiss the ones you love, and remember, tomorrow is not guaranteed. So make sure that you do that, and it's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time, and you're going to get to where you need to be. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Prepper Nurse one out for now.